So good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, and it is Kate's birthday. She's still asleep. It's about 10 o'clock. So we've been staying up late. It's our spring break. So while she is sleeping, I'm going to get some filming done and organizing in the office. So today is going to be the start of the office organization and declutter. I wasn't sure after I did the kitchen declutter. If you've not seen that, I will link that in the card above. I did that in, I think, five or six um, different videos. I wasn't sure after that what direction I was going to go in. I considered doing the laundry room. I considered doing the bathroom. But y'all, I spend the most time in the office and it's looking really like a mess. There's so many things I want to do. I'm limited on if I can move furniture and all of that. So we're just going to take this one video at a time. And today's video is going to focus on my IKEA Calyx unit. I'm not sure what else we're going to do past that because i am going to share books so it might be a lengthy video that's why i'm just going to do that one thing so two weeks ago we put together this tbr cart if you've not seen that video i will link it in the card above i have been asked what i'm going to do what i'm doing with my other books so that is actually it's funny that i got that question today because that's actually what i was addressing today in this video so i will link this in a card above if you've not seen it y'all have no idea where i'm putting this yet but i love it I love walking in here and looking at it. And yes, I'm still in my pajamas. Y'all know, I don't get dressed for videos. We This is real life around here, and here comes Izzy. So this is what I mean when my office is a mess. So those jelly cats over there, I did share a TikTok and an Instagram reel over those. You will see those probably in today's video as well. So all of this, I would love to be able to move these two units over here. But here's the thing. These two units came from Ikea and they had a backing to it. And the way that I set them up, it will not allow you to use the backing. So that's why they're just sitting here because they have to be pushed up against the wall and all this needs to be pushed up against it so it doesn't fall over. So I love them, but the stability thing is, yeah. I don't like that it's not stable if you don't put that cardboard backing in the back. I can't remember the name of these. If I can think of it, I will link it. But my husband actually took these two units and they're actually nailed together. So they can't be separated just to give it some extra strength. Um, so this is what we're working on today. And I even thought about moving this, but I like that it divides the little bedding area. And we have this little bedding area back here because we do have family that visits us. Nobody lives where we do. So, but you see it's a mess right now. So that needs to be fixed, but that's not for today. So that's why we have it for family. So this whole thing, I want to take everything down and reorganize it because it's a mess. It needs to be cleaned. And I'm considering just taking these bags completely off the top and doing something different up there as well. So I have books at the top. These here, I want to do something different with this because these are all of my weekly and monthly sticker stickers organized out. But I'm going to tell you, anytime I have to pull for something in the back, it just, I hate doing it. So I would love to get some kind of cart or something that I can move around that's just for those. So I'm actually thinking about not putting those back in here just so it forces me to look to see if I can find some kind of rolling cart. Because some of them are actually sitting over here. See some of them? And that might be what I do for right now is move those over here. I might do that. And then that will give me kind of a chance to see how it works on this cart and to see if I want to buy a um, rolling cart. I'm over here thinking, can I put wheels on that? But I don't think I can. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then all of this down here, like on these two here, I usually put um, the new releases that I've cut. I haven't cut anything for May right now. So, that's why all that's empty. Like, all of this needs to be, it's just a mess. It's just a straight mess. So, it needs to all be pulled out, looked at, and reorganized to the best of my ability. And right here is what I am working on. This is why nothing is cut for May. I'm still working on April. I'm still finishing up April kits. This is all April's kits upside down. So I've got one more to fill here if it'll fit. So I've got it all laying down so it doesn't go backwards. 
I'm sure that did not make sense at all, but it does in my brain. And then take you in here. Yes, look at our kitchen. Yeah, we need to, this needs to be. Need to get all that looked at too. And then some of these books are probably going to be moved in there as well. So if y'all are wondering where all of my books are, some of them are in there. Some of them are in here. So I want to move all of these and kind of put them by in category. Maybe like all the Jody Pico books. Maybe all of the, you know, thriller books. And kind of just share all the books with you that I have and that I've read over the years. So this could be a lengthy video. Now all of this is staying over here. These are, you know, childhood books and things. Those are from, most of these are from my childhood. I think I have one or two that's my mom's and then I've gotten the kids a few. Um, those are, see, all kids books and then our Shutterfly books. So all of that is staying. And you know, I thought for Christmas time, I've got like two extra It Ends With Us books. I'm like, I need to find a way to make some kind of ornament or something with the inside of a book. That would be so neat to do that. Okay, let's go back to the office. So what we're gonna do first is you wanna start with a clean slate. So we're gonna take everything off this, pile it up in the floor so it's gonna get messy before it gets better. Let me start out by saying if you hear something behind me that is the printer i'm still printing and cutting and organizing the april new releases so that's what you hear behind me printing and cutting the last kit for april okay so this i've stopped right here because this is the point where i am not sure how to organize this i don't like the fact that all of these are lined up right here so I have thought about, well, maybe I could put the ones that I use. These are from the steady hand. These are not part of the unit. So these come out. So I thought maybe I could put, like use this last column right here to put all of these organizers. What is it? One, two, three. There's five. One, two, three. There's five here. So I could use one column here to put all of those. I'm not sure at the moment. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put the books. I'm going to start the books and then we're going to see how it looks and see if I want to use the other columns over here. So this is going to be a kind of play it by ear thing. So I did put the books that were over here, over there in the floor. And I went ahead and put my March books that I've read over here as well. I had them separated, but I'm going to put them on the unit just so it has its spot and then I'll pull them out. So those are the four books that I've read. So how I want to organize them is I'm not sure. <laughs> so I know I want to do all of the Colleen Hoover books together. I think I have, I have one more that's um, Layla that'll go on this stack. And I mean, do I organize them this way? Do I organize them this way? I'm not sure. So I have all of, I think I have almost all of her books because I have the Slam series on my TBR card. So we've got Reminders of Him, Never Never, Too Late, Heart Bones, all the maybe now, maybe someday series, regretting you, ugly love, November 9th, it ends with us. I have it starts with us. A friend is borrowing that. Then I have confess without merit. I'm gonna put Verity different because Verity is totally different than all of these. So I have almost all of her books. So I'm gonna put all of those together. So I guess that's what we're going to do first. We're going to organize them all out before we put them over there. Okay, next, let's do all of the Jody Pico, Jody Pico books. So I have, this one is my all-time favorite. Y'all, I recommend this. I, this 
is a book that has stuck with me forever. And I know it's probably not one of the most popular ones, books of all time, but this I cried. I stood in the shower after I read this book and literally cried and cried and cried. So I loved it so much. Loved it so much. So I've got this one, then we're gonna have to go to the living room and pick the other ones up. Okay. I might probably need to make sure that I don't mess these willow trees up. Okay, let's go up here. Mad Honey. All I recommend all of her books. Her books are so amazing. Um, 19 Minutes. That's good. Um, the Pact. Let me tell you a book. Let me tell you. This book, it, it still haunts me. It's a good book, but it haunts me, really. It, it really does. I think it's going to stick with me forever. If you've read it, let me know what you think. The Pact by Jody Pico. Um, I know y'all are probably saying, there's one, there's one, there's one. I don't see it. I've got like tons of her books. It's going to take me a minute to find them all. Plain Truth is good. Small Great Things, good. That's a book I want to reread because it's been forever since I've read that one. Um, probably going to pull, pull the Freedom McFadden books next. I feel like I'm missing some. <sighs> Those are all going to stay. We did start getting Kate, the Harry Potter Illustrated series. We've got one through five so far. I don't think they've came out with the sixth one yet. Okay, next we're going to do Kristen Hanna's books. So, let me tell you, Kristen Hanna was the one that got me back into reading in 2023. And it was this book right here, Angel Falls. I have no idea why I was walking through Target in January of 2023, randomly picked up this book, not this actual, actual one. Read the back, and I'm like, I want to read that. I have no idea, but it's thanks to her that I got back into reading. So, this is a great book. This one. <laughs> okay. After I started reading, I think I started like 2017, I think it was, roughly. I really got back into reading. And then I stopped reading after that. I don't know if I just lost. I don't know. But, I gave away this book here, Comfort and Joy. It's such a cute book great one to read at christmas time and then when target had their buy one get one half off recently i was like i would like to add that back to my collection so i re-bought it okay so we're going to pull all the Kristen hannah books that's two okay the nightingale that's a good one uh magic hour is good um I don't see any more on that shelf, do y'all? Nope. Night Road is good. I feel like I'm missing one on this shelf. Am I not? Maybe I'm not. Oh, here we go down here. Now, I have not read this one yet. I got this one from Goodwill. The Things We Do for Love. I saw it was one of her books. I was like, I need to have that one. Um, is that all I have of hers? I thought I had more than that. Okay, so we have a Colleen Hoover, Jody Pico, Kristen Hannah Paul. Next, we're going to do Leanne Moriarty. I really read a lot of her books back in um, 2017, I think, 2018. This is by far my favorite by her, What Alice Forgot. It does not get talked about enough, but it's one of my all-time favorite books because the main character, Alice, she is at a gym, and she has amnesia, and she, like, hits her head or something and gets amnesia. So she cannot remember anything from her past, the type of person she was, nothing so this is such a good book to me now it's not one of those that you have these twists and turns and all of that 
but it just really spoke to me and you know character how you present yourself and all of that so that is the first one by her the other one i have apples don't fall i think that's the name of it it's over there on my tbr cart and then we'll go pull the other ones by her and you know what i knew i had another one this one here is um winter garden by kristen hannah i knew i had another one that one's like underneath something over there though okay so leanne moriarty is none of those shocking okay down here um her books are big books i think they're probably gonna be yep truly madly guilty big little lies y'all this is a good book the reese witherspoon series such a good one you need to read this the husband's secret where is that i have that and i don't see that up here okay this is really weird like here's the cover where's the book sometimes i use books over here uh, there it is right there's there there's the book <laughs> i'm like i know i have that book okay at least i know i have it so i can just put this in there the husband's secret all her books have good twists and turns next we're gonna pull the Kate Morton books. Where's the one that's my favorite of hers? I don't see it. It better be in here. I found it. It was in here. I did not know it was in here. This is by far my favorite Kate Morton book. The Secret Keeper. Is it long? Yes. Do I recommend it? Yes. I loved it. It is 400 and almost 500 pages. And you guys, if I could read this book, you can too. By far, I recommend this one amongst any other Kate Morton books. I really love this book. Okay, now to the last author, author that we're going to pull. And that's going to be Frida McFadden because I have a ton of her books. I'm actually, start, I started last night Ward D and um yeah i'm only one chapter in but i have almost all of her books love her books so we have the teacher the perfect son okay let's move all these around the housemaid's secret i did not read this kate wanted this one i don't know if she read read it or not I was not a fan, fan of The Housemaid. It's up here and I'm going to put it in the stack. But I was not a fan. Um, I think all of her covers are dark. Never Lie. Locked Door. The Housemaid. The Inmate. My favorite by her. Um, is that it? No. I know that's not it. I don't see them. So I have the inmate, the housemaid, the housemaid's secret, locked door, never lie. Then I have the teacher. Um, I guess that's why, because I have some in here. Okay, I was sitting here thinking I had lost some books, and they were on the bed over there from me sharing them in February. So we got the Hopeless series. The Colleen Hoover series has five with this Hopeless series. The other three are on my TBR cart. I don't know why she's over here smelling books, but she is. Oh, Finding Cinderella. Okay, now for the thriller. Riley Sager's The Only One Left, amazing book. So now we're going to go to the living room and get the other thrillers that I'm going to bring in here. And I think it's quite a few. Okay. So, um, some of these are going to be just, I don't know, kind of alone type books. There's really not a genre to them, I don't think. Um, the Strangers Upstairs. The Stranger Upstairs. I did not like that, but I'm going to keep it. The Push. I did not like this one either. And this was rated really high. Look, Good Morning America Book Club. I just did not like the whole theme of the book. Um, oh, The Guest List. That needs to go in my TBR cart because I haven't read that yet. Um, the Couple Next Door. Read this one. Girl on the Train. That's good. Kate has Woman in Cabin 10 right now that she's reading. Girl Forgotten. That's good. 
This is really good in a dark, dark wood. Really good book. Gone Girl. I'll rate it. This is good. Just rate it. Um, I think that's it. Okay, now we're to the romance books. We got Abby Jimenez, Part of Your World and Yours Truly. And I did order a special edition of Yours Truly. So, hopefully, I think it was a pre-order, so I don't know when it's coming. But I loved it. Look, I even put the annotation stuff in here. It's actually just sticky notes. I actually need to get some formal ones. Um, we've got The Bodyguard. Great book. How to Walk Away. Loved it. The Seven Year Slip. Good. Not as good as everybody else said it was, in my opinion. Okay. Oh, The Silent Patient. I should have pulled that with the thrillers. So, let's put that to the side. Throw me off with the cover. Okay. Book Lovers. I have two of these. I have this one and then I have one down here. Because I wanted this whole set that matched. Happy Place. Y'all, I must say, Happy Place... Emily Henry, I know there are people, I guess I need to reread this one because evidently I did not get the big hype with these books as some people did. So I need to reread them, I guess. And then I got the um, overseas United Kingdom, I think, copies of these. I ordered it from a bookstore over there because I love their covers. Book lovers. So, I have two copies of those. Oh, let's go back up here. Um, standalones. Oh, the last thing he told me is a thriller, too. Um, One True Loves. This is good. Okay, let's move this in here real fast. Okay, Every Summer After was not a fan. Just did not get me like some people. Ugh, the Fault in Our Stars. This is so good, y'all. I read this in one evening. Such a good book. Even though it's YA, I really loved it. Um, the Ladies Room is good. It's been a while since I read this one. I think that's kind of a standalone type of book. I've got several standalone type of books. And y'all, these are Kate's. Things we never got over. And things we hide from the light. Those are both hers. I'm gonna try to get this last book filmed before I. I'm gonna try to film this last book before my battery dies. This is a standalone book too. A man called. And I know it's not Ove. I know that's not how it's pronounced. But let me tell you, do not sleep on this book. This is another book that will stay with me forever. I think I read this back in like 2017, 2018, and I absolutely loved it. So. Just grumpy sunshine type of book. I just, I highly recommend it. So definitely read this. And here are all the piles that we're looking at right now. So this is going to be the difficult part. Trying to figure out a an order to all of these books. So this is going to be kind of a feel my way through it. See what looks good. I may have to move stuff around a little bit. So we will see. So just kind of bear with me while I go through all of these.
moved over here. All of the shelves have been cleaned. And let me tell you, it was pretty disgusting. So this is where it's going to get kind of... Um, I'm not sure at this point what I'm going to do. So I did fill all of the shelves. Now I did leave a little bit of space. I don't know if you can even see around that light. There's a little bit of space over here. If you see some spaces, that's because I know I've got some books that I need to go there. Like when I finish the Ward D book, it'll go right there. Um, Colleen Hoover. I left enough spot space up here. I've got a friend borrowing a book that's going to go here when it comes back. This here, I left that space because I have a few more books by Catherine Center that I'm reading. Like, Hello Stranger is going to go up there. And then I left a spot here for that Yours Truly edition that I was going to kind of face forward if it'll fit. That is the spot here for a little book accessories. Then I've got the Kristen Hanna books down here. So I've got a lot of extra space, which is great. And then I also noticed, let me go around this side. If I get so many books that I don't know what to do with them, there is enough space on this other side that I can go ahead and start doing books on this side as well. So this Ikea Calyx unit comes in many different sizes if you are curious. I want to say this is the largest one they have. I love it because it's dividing this room up. Now this over here, these are the four cubby ikea calyx units and i have three of those on this little cart that i made and that's what my planning station is made of so what we're gonna do next is i have this these are so cute y'all i've got to use that little goo gone stuff to get the stickers off i don't know why did they put that sticker there and then there is another one there i got this off of amazon how cute is it but i want to face this forward and put some stuff in it Okay, then I've got these jelly cats that I'm going to put on here. Every single one of them came in one of these dust bags, which I love because I'm going to use these for like shoes and stuff like that. Keeping bags and stuff in those. So these won't be holding the jelly cats, but I, I've got, I ordered five this last time. And every single one of them came in one of these bags. So I love that. So I've got the coffee cup, the espresso cup. How cute is that? love that then i have look at this little pepper like spicy books so and these will go on my christmas tree when that time comes the star i think the star is going to go on my tbr cart isn't that cute and the star came in white as well and some of them come in different sizes the little heart cute 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 and then the snowflake Yo, I don't know why I wanted the snowflake, but I just thought it was too cute not to get. And this came in two different sizes. This is the smaller one, and they have a larger one. So let's take this one over here and see if it works on my TBR cart. Okay, he's not that big, so I'm going to see if I can just prop him up right here. Oh, these looks cute. Okay, where am I going to put the little snowflake? I mean, he fits pretty perfect right there. Okay, that looks good there. little espresso cup see if it looks that matches that let's push these back okay I think that looks cute right there the heart matches this oh that's cute we're gonna put that there like so and then I just have the spicy one here right there let's push these back a little bit okay let's push these back a little bit even though these aren't even spicy books but we're gonna put that right there oh yeah see that matches perfect okay those look cute love that so it's been about an hour since the last time I checked in with you guys and I think I'm gonna end right here with everything that I have done since this is just part one of my office organization because I have a feeling this is fixing to bleed into other things as well so I want to stop right here. So I want to share this with you. Now this is not done at all. It does look really good. But as you see, I've got all of this empty space down here, which is nice 
because that means my book collection has room to grow. So I'll share all of this with you and then I'll share some other things that I moved around. So I have all of my extra books over there. Now this little, I'll share, let me talk about the little accessories once I get all the books shared. All my Jody Pico books and then some additional ones. I had to move some around from the stacks depending on how many fit in a little cubby. Now here, was I gonna put something on the top of that? I thought I was, but I'm not sure what I was gonna put up there. So we're just gonna leave it like that for right now. You know, not everything's done. So this is good here. I've left room for, like I said earlier, that yours truly book. So I left room right here for that yours truly um, special edition that I ordered. I thought I would face it forward that here and I've left space so I could put something a decorative something there that looks good I left space to put my other Colleen Hoover books all of that those are some thrillers Frida McFadden and then some more thrillers and I did leave space for that Ward D book that I'm reading right now Kristen Hanna books with my little this oh I'll share that in a minute I said I was going to share that separately. So then I put over here, I've got, these are the stickers that are retiring in the next two months. These will be all of my new releases once I get those cut for May. April has already gone into the organizer. Then here, these are the little cello bags for different things. And I have them labeled, like here's the keychain backers. Then I've got a few that are just empty. So I keep all those there. Those are, I think those are my notepad cello bags. Cello bags for the mouse pads. We've got the two sections of mouse pads right now. I've sold quite a few in the March opening. So I will have to order some more of those, maybe some new designs. I've left all of this open in case I want to use that for anything. So that looks really good. So now my battery is dead once again. So let me switch my battery. Then I'll share all of the accessories and I'll share what else I did behind me. Okay, now to all of the accessories. I switched out my battery. So all of my little jelly cats, my snowflake, my chili pepper, my heart, and then the espresso coffee cup. The only other one I really want is the gingerbread house unless they come out with like a little book one. That would be cute, but right now I'm good. Okay, then we have Pippi Post. This is from Pippi Post. It's got all of the Christmas books on it. This is from Pippi Post here. I think that might be it from Pippi Post. Yes. Uh, next, let's talk about Emily Cromwell Designs. So I've talked about her several times, especially during Vlogmas. So this came from her shop. It's a little acrylic stand. It says cozy up with a good book. That is where all of the pillows came from. I hope she comes out with a new design next. These are silky too. They fit perfectly inside of these cubbies. They look so good. This is from her shop here. This came from the advent calendars that she had. It's the perfect size for a little decorative piece for the shelf too. This down here is from her shop the pillow and the mug this is kate's um uh, she gave us these little volleyballs they threw them out at one of the games and i kept it and just put it in here this is bunard that came from her shop as well and i think the only thing oh, i've got two more things to share this is a book vase so i'm going to get some flowers to put in there got that from amazon and i may get the bigger one They've got several different ones. This is the smaller one at Secret Garden. They have Pride and Prejudice, I think, that would look really cute either right there or right there. I might get that next. I didn't get an additional one because I didn't know how much space I would have. Last but not least is my goose. This was my grandmother's. She collected geese when I was growing up. She had this lingerie chest that she had all of them sitting on. So this is a very special thing to me. 1984 I, I don't know anything about it I just know it reminds me of her and I just keep it in here because it's really special to me so that is the Ikea Calyx unit now everything was on the top y'all I think I'm just going to break it down and put it in the tubs underneath that bed back there because I like the way it looks not cluttered up there so I think I'm just going to leave that like that then over here, I've started this whole process. 
not nearly finished. This has to be dusted and everything, but I did move the little organizer over here with some of my business supplies, my iPad, extra notebooks. Any of the notebooks that were messed up, I kept. So that's here. I've got, this is from Emily Cromwell Designs. And then we have the, um, what is this called? Bibly. Y'all, an Instagram ad or a Facebook ad got me. I thought that was the cutest thing ever. So I ordered it. It's a little bookcase. I like it. I think it looks cute. And we've got my Funkos, my uh, Funkos. And that is basically, oh, one other thing over here. I moved all of the stickers over here and I think it looks good. So this is going to be easy to get to. It'll give me an idea if a rolling cart would be good because I just could not get to them in those cubbies. So that looks good. I did move some of the extra stickers, the baskets of stickers over here. Like these are the months. Then we have oopsies and these are the dividers for the organizers. And that is it for round one of the office declutter and organization. And that is all for the office declutter and organization round one. So I was going to do a lot more, but you guys, I, I have a feeling this might be a long video. So if it is, I apologize. So next video will be a continuation of what we started. So I'll probably finish that area over there before moving on. Like do that little dresser unit and my desk and all of that because I want one area finished before we start another. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below and I will try to leave links to everything that I've talked about. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start sharing it and suggesting it, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. And you guys, you may not think it means a whole lot to give a video a thumbs up, but with YouTube's algorithm, it's just all over the place. Recently, my videos have not been shared. I don't think it has anything to do with y'all watching or giving it a thumbs up because I know I am not seeing videos from people that I watch regularly. I have to go under subscriptions and look. So I don't know what's going on, but just know that it does do something if you give the video a thumbs up and you like it. So thank you so much. I hope y'all have a blessed week and until next time. Bye, you guys.